The prospect of money coming out of money market funds and migrating elsewhere. Are you beginning to see that trend develop? You know, Jonathan, we, we are seeing that. Um, we've seen that really for the last six months, but it's been small, uh, small pieces. But I do think it's beginning to pick up, uh, pick up steam. And some of the reasons are obvious. Um, you know, certainly at, at a higher level of, uh, of interest rates relative to money market funds. And as we begin to see rates peak and then decline, duration begins to look a little bit more, more attractive. But there are two other things that are going on which are as, at least as important. One is that the big pension funds with higher rates are actually better funded. And so they actually are using this as a chance to de-risk, and that means for them they are moving money into fixed income. And the second is that uh, you know, we have the continued demographic trends going on, not just in this country, but around the world. And retirees need income. So we are in the process now of this huge shift from accumulation products to decumulation and income products. And those need fixed income. So if you take the kind of short-term shift, you add to them two structural shifts, we think over the next three years, we really are seeing to see bonds are back. This sounds like a new regime, and I'm going to give your team a bit of a shout-out because well, you're a you. modest man. Mike Collins, Greg Peters, Robert Tipp, just absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> Pre-pandemic, really defining that bond market regime of yesteryear. Can you talk to me about how different this regime is going to be compared to that we, one? We think it will be different. And uh, you're right. They were, they were right on the lower for longer for quite a long time in that. And then more recently, um, our call has actually been that we're going to be higher. So if you go back six months, we were very early to the hey, we're looking at kind of two cuts uh, for, uh, for 24 when the market was pricing in seven. And uh, we held with that view, and the markets kind of come back to us at this point. So we pride ourselves on taking, I think, considered uh, non-consensus views that are long-term in nature rather than simply trading views. And I think that we've made a very good job on those. Um, and I will say that in order to do that, you need a culture that supports people uh, to take those non-consensus views, um, even during times when they don't look so right. And many organizations have a hard time doing that, and we're, we're proud of our culture to do it.